Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can integrate the GetResponse app into your ManyChat account, which will enable you to synchronize your subscribers with your GetResponse account. First of all, you go to the ManyChat app store, which will take you to a page similar to what's on your screen right now. And if you want to start installing the app, just click the install button right there on your screen, which will take you to the following page. This is the page you will see when you entered the or clicked the button to install the app. From this page on, you will click the install button on the bottom side of your screen. Click install, which will take you to a list of the pages that you manage in your ManyChat account. Just click the page you want to install it on and click this install button. From there on up, you go to this settings page, click this button, and now your app will be installed in your account. It will also prompt you to fill in these settings from your GetResponse account, as well as your license key for this app. If you don't have a license key, you can get one at chattemplates.com and you can either select this uh, single app or you get the hall pass for all the apps that we currently provide. To get your GetResponse API key, you can go to your GetResponse account at getresponse.com and once you uh, logged in, you will see a page like this. This is your um, dashboard at GetResponse. And if you want to get your API key, you will click this menu icon on top of your screen. Go to Integrations and API. Click that link. And here you will see API. Click on that link. And you will see your API key right here. Click copy and then you can go back into your ManyChat account, paste the API key right there, click save and your app is now installed. So now you want to use it in your account. So you go to the sample flow that we provide or you create your own flow and we will show you how that will look like inside your flow builder. Here you see the small flow that we provide to get you started. As you can see, we will first ask the user for their email and SMS number. And then we send them to this get response action. The way to get this in your flow builder is either use this sample flow or if you just build out your own flow, you can click on this plus sign, select action, click to add an action, go to this action menu, click action again, scroll all the way down and look for your get response action, which is right here. Select action, select this one. And this will show you your get response information. This is auto populated if you entered your correct API key. So these are the two lists in our account. Just click Dojo for this video. I will show you where these lists are as well in your get response account. You can see that on top of your screen, click lists. And get response will show you your current lists. We have zero subscribers in here. I just selected a dojo. So let's go back to many chats. Where is the flow? Right here. Dojo is the one I selected. A email address, custom field name, which is email. 
The features you see here are the optional custom fields. You can select these from this pull down menu as well. These are just the fields that are in your get response account. And you can pause, you can select any one that you need. Let's just do something, comment, and we want to add the user ID, for example. And I want to know where this person, oh, I created this many chat ID, hold on. So, many chats ID. There you go. User ID and the second one, for example, gender. Where's gender? I'm just selecting something. And where is the gender? It's actually on top right here. So this is the gender. And now I click save and your action is correctly set up. I will delete my old one and connect this one right here. Let's do it like this and next step. Okay, so this is actually it. There's not a lot more to it. You can, of course, in your action, also put in some hard-coded data. You don't have to, uh, for example, if I do want to create the custom text, where is it? Hmm. Let me see. Reference, I can also just enter something here, like this was a test, something like that. Click the value, save it, publish. And now I will run this flow and I will show you that now I am added as a user in get response. Okay, so here on my screen, you see my phone right now. I just started up this preview of the flow. So let's click call, let's do it. Now it will continue to get my email address and phone number, which I already entered. So here it is. Get my other information. There we go. And the information is already added to get response now, if everything is correct. So now we are going to open up get response again. And I'm going to click refresh. And the magic moment is there is now a subscriber, which of course is me. Edit today. Click the email address for more information about me. And then you will see that the custom fields are also added. Here's my ManyChat user ID and the reference, which was this was a test. Of course, the same as the text we added here in this field right there. So this is how it works. I hope you, I hope you enjoy it. And if you have any questions, please let me know.